Hey guys, just going to do a quick video for you guys real quick. I tried the African threading method, which I think is, I don't know, I call it the African thread curl. That's what I'm going to call it. The African thread curl because it's not African threading because I'm not keeping it straight and spiky like you've been seeing to stretch it. So, I can cure this. What I'm going to do real quick in this video is basically show you the after effect. That's why I got my hair tied up. Um, I'm just showing you the after effect as to how it looked after I put bring my curls down. Okay? Alright, so here we go for the reveal of my African Thread Curls. Which is gonna be my name for when I say for me, some of y'all might be professionals. For me, this was the hardest thing, and I've been doing my own hair, hair braiding, all that stuff since I was 14. This is one of been the hardest one of the things, one of the hardest things I've had to teach myself to do because you can't pull the string too tight or the curl not gonna push up. I use weave. For some of the curls, because it was easier to do with the weave in the back. And I used thread for most of the ones in the front. You can kind of see if you look close. That's thread, that's thread. I think this one is weave. When it got hard, I used the weave. I will put some videos in the bottom to the link to where I found out how they do it with the weave and where I found out how you do it with the string. Um, I would say the most difficult part is trying to figure out how to hold your thumb, hold your thumb down, hold the string, and just try to wrap. I mean, I literally had to do, like, wrap that string around four or five times before it got tight so I could pull it all the way down the hair. Then pull it up, and then try to hold the end. You can see how the ends is. Then try to hold the end, tie the string around there, then tie the string around my finger and tie. Yeah, it took me a minute. Like most of these videos make it oh, it's so quick and easy, huh? No, this is just going to be me doing a reveal. So I'm going to just take out one for now. I really don't want to take these down because when these curls fall out eventually, Maybe it take a long time before they fall out. Re-threading them is gonna be the dust of me. But you gotta do what you gotta do. So here's the reveal. Alright. So what I did was it's hard to try to find a knot. So what I did was just cut in between and you can see that the curl came out. <laughs> Kind of amazing. Take these on real quick. And then I'm going to show you how it look. Alright, this is the final look. I haven't split my curls up. I'm going to split them a little bit now. Just to make it look wavy. And this is my protective stuff. Hey guys, real quick video, just to kind of show you guys um, a quick method to kind of refresh some of your curls during the weeks or before you go to bed. Um, 
I actually woke up today and you can see I still got the curls in there. But right here, this curl is gone a little bit. So I'm gonna do real quick and I'm gonna show you how I basically use this piece of weave and a blow dryer to sort of uh, refresh it real quick, okay? So we're gonna take this. Part. Yeah, let me just take all this because this still curl. So let me just take this part right here. Brush it out. Now this is just for a refresher. Probably should use some leave-in conditioner, but this is just for a quick refresher. I mean, you could be running out the door and you're like, eh, that don't look too curled right there. So this is a method you can use if you don't think it looks too curled. So, make it a little damp. Take this piece, wrap it right here. And this is why I said initially in the beginning of the video, it was hard. It was hard trying to do that part. Then, I just, See how we get tangled. That's why you gotta wrap it around twice. But after I hold it down, wrap it around that base three times, put it around here. Now you don't wanna make it too tight cause then you won't be able to slide it up. But you also wanna make it kinda loose and spaced out. Because how big the space is, is how big your curl going to be. Show you the end. A lot of videos I was watching did not show me the end. But since this is a quick one, you don't have to worry about making a knot. Initially, if you was doing this with your regular hair, I just kept twisting, slid it up, and tied it around the base. But since we're just doing a quick... So you want to slide it up, see the curl? Now when you're doing your regular hair and you're trying to do all the curls, that's when I just wrap this around here and kind of tie it around the base. But since we're doing this so quick, I got to run out the house, going to do it like that, hold it. Not even five minutes. And then pull it down, unloose it. And bam. No waiting out the dough through that curl right back in there. But you can see. So quick little twist I just did, and bam.